what's up what's up what's up guys thank you for tuning in and uh, for watching my videos if you're new to my channel my name is Irene Aileen E-I-L-E-E-N um, I'm a student in Poland I'm from Tanzania and I am sharing in this space everything that relates to my experience as a foreign student in Poland and yeah I hope you enjoy my videos and whenever you tune into this channel you have something that either entertains you or it gives you I mean knowledge basic knowledge about the life here as a foreign student in Europe and it shades up some light and it makes you smile <laughs> well so for today um, I am going to share with you some of the things I hate about Poland I in the previous video I shared um, some of the things very few things that I like about Poland and then I thought I'm a human being uh, there are some things that whenever even in my own country there are some things that I like and there are some things that I don't like like that is given so I will okay so I am going to share like having been staying in Poland for a year already there are some things that I found to be very um, interesting as how I did share in the previous video if you have not watched the video up below and down in the description box you can go back and watch that video anyway so I am going to share with you some of the things I, do, I, I don't like a disclaimer before I start a video um, everything that I'm sharing is just basing on my own personal experience and these are my opinion so if these things that I'm going to share they will not be appealing to some of you guys or maybe they will you would not be even you know think that I should really hate them these are on my opinions so you can also share your own opinions regarding what I'm going to say in the description box below well so the first thing that I don't really like um, here in Poland uh, is the fact that on Sundays most of the stores as, uh, and even the big malls they are closed especially when you have the when we have the public holidays so I, I gave an example in one of the videos during holidays Christmas holidays my experience was um, they have very long holidays beginning of 22nd or 23rd so you can imagine you only have you have like a five days holiday and you have to make sure you buy everything that you need for your holiday that are going to sustain you for five days and the rest of the things will be closed except for very small grocery stores i think the job cars they're the ones that are closed but also it's not guaranteed or if you go to the gas station and all that so for for me i don't really find this to be very convenient i don't i didn't like the experience and also basing on like their sundays that are um i think there's a rule that it's either every first Sunday of the month or every last Sunday of the month I'm not quite sure about the two please if you know about this you can also comment down below um, these are the only Sundays that uh, the government has even given the permission for the stores to uh, open up this, the stores apart from that every Sunday every public holiday if even if it falls like in between of the week know that there will not be anything that is that anything that is opened so you need to stock yourself up very early so that you don't starve you don't miss the basic things that you need well I don't like this I really don't like that anyway and then another thing is the issue of carta carta probetu a temporary resident card um, you may ask me why am I applying for the temporary resident card uh, is the fact that with that card I will be able to go back to my country I will not have to go to my embassy to the Polish embassy in my country every now and then to apply for visa so it's very easy for me to go to and see my family for holidays and come back and not to have to go through all the same processes again so it's a very um, easy thing that that's why I applied for for me that is the reason why I have applied for the carta probetu the temporary resident card so the thing is very complicated especially i'm told this year 
um, many people are being denied it's just and you have it for three years two years or so it's not very well defined so for me the fact that this whole thing is a uh, it's just a mystery and it's not very well defined and it takes longer and everyone is getting their own card on I don't know it's not documented so it's really I don't understand because I know of some countries where students they are able to get their cards just in a week okay another thing that I find interesting and I don't like in Poland it would also be in other countries maybe also in my own country is the fact that I go to the gym pretty much twice now per week or twice and I'm on in holidays so the whole of last week I have been going like every day and I'm even signing up for like a class a Zumba class which is making me even more committed so um, in the gym my experience is because I am Af African I mean, I'm, I'm African I am somehow my ass is a little bit bigger <laughs> let me say that way my ass is a little bit bulged as compared to most of the women here I'm not I think I hope this is not an offense I'm just sharing my experience so every time I'm exercising I would spot a man a guy looking at me but then they are not looking at you on their face they look at you on the face when they realize that um, you have seen what they're doing but you will see them looking at your ass <laughs> yeah like they look at your ass like just like that and i don't know this i don't i don't mind you look at it and i'm even getting busy doing what i was doing but i just find it make me very uncomfortable that i don't like here in poland is the fact that the customer service is work it's very poor it's not very good especially in public places I'm gonna give you an example of a very recent experience I had with my friends. A friend was going back to German. Uh, she came for holidays and she had booked a VIP ticket, a train ticket back at around 7. And because of the fact that she didn't know very well um, the like how to navigate, and how to go about like she got stuck in the traffic she missed the train so she went into the customer service i mean not the customer service she went into the ticket window there was an old lady at the central station she was just the, the fact that maybe she doesn't speak english she was just like nye, nye, no no <laughs> i don't understand I was so pissed I was like even if even I know in my own country and I've also been in other countries the fact that you don't speak the language you don't speak English you'll be like like you know sorry just just you will just let the customer stay there and you will go and look for a person who speaks the language I'm sure that you don't have people you must have a person who's you know somehow speaks the language and understand the thing you have google translators you would have written it somewhere and just show that i don't speak english but just give me a moment i'll come back to you and i've also worked in a customer service um field i know really how much it takes to make a person who is also not going there for free they are paid for the, se the service so they deserve to get you know the, the good service so my experience with the customer service in Poland. Okay, uh, long story short, she was denied. She we, we couldn't even talk. We went now to the calls to the general customer service of the central station. There was a lady who somehow wanted to help, but then she was pissed. And then the late my friend, uh, our friend, would uh, was speaking German. She said, "If you don't speak English, can I also get a person who speaks German?" So the guy was very helpful. But then it was so time consuming. It was so energy, um, so exhausting. We spent there very long time and then we couldn't get anything sorted this is just one example there's so many other examples when you go to the post office we go to the bank you have I have my money in the bank I'm coming to I have some inquiry and the lady is like no English no English no English 
really it's really not it's not very um the experience with the customer service in poland guys for me it's really now i'm in at the point of you know what i understand the situation but there are people who don't understand this so they will just also become furious and they will just start to react because they're not used to that but i am now because i know the situation i'm just used to it and i'm i don't care if you give me the best customer service i sort myself anyway so i hate that also about poland another thing that i don't like is the fact that i don't know smoking um female smoking i i I also talked about this as a culture culture shock in Poland. I was shocked to see women uh, smoking, but I also I don't like it. If I don't like it, I don't doesn't mean that if there is a woman who is smoking, I should act bad, bad to her toward them. I do respect them, and it's just that me who doesn't like female who smoke or even men. Just smoking in general for me is not. But I respect and I hope people who smoke in Poland they also respect people who don't smoke in their surroundings that's why I've seen there are some rules here and there we don't smoke in the building you smoke outside there's a special zone in my university where you go and smoke but also still if people smoke they come inside somehow you know smelling the cigarette but anyways I don't like smoking and Poland is really place for smoking so i respect that and another thing that i don't like is people get very friendly yeah polish people are very closed if i get a good word uh, they're very much into their own zone their own space or maybe towards foreigners they act a sort of ways so i have been to some of you know parties and occasions where the same people that i was you know interacting with when they were not drunk um, act a sort of differently when they get drunk they become very friendly very open very loving and for me that is not it's the minus I somehow question these people because I know what alcohol is capable of doing but if I drink I know also I mean I'm somehow become still I am aware of what I'm doing so I would not act strange toward other people so they act some sort of strange I know of a situation where some one person was trying to kiss uh, was trying to say like speak very good things about the other person uh, trying to compliment very well appreciating very much loving hugging um, for me I find like that to be very fake I'm like fake I don't I like really person the way you act to me when you're not drunk um, I expect the same when you're drunk because then we have a connection but you just don't out of the blue start acting very well to me when you get drunk anyway so for today these are the, some of the things that I don't really like about my experience here in Poland but as I said these are based on my own experience I hope you will enjoy the, the video and Please, before you do some, guys, those who are watching my videos without subscribing, can you please take a moment and just, before you leave this space, can you please subscribe to my channel? And I'm going to see you guys in the next videos. I hope you have a great week and bye-bye.